So today I'm going to read this story called Luna Muna. It's written by Kelly Girardi for her daughter, so I think that's really sweet. So let's get started on the book. It was a perfect night with a million stars in the sky. Perfect for a future astronaut like me. Time to come inside, Luna Muna called Mommy. That's when I saw it, a shooting star streaking across the sky. I closed my eyes tight. I wish I could fly to space, I whispered. I waited patiently. Nothing happened. I opened my eyes. I was disappointed. I'm going to count to three, Mommy warned. She meant business. So I blasted off inside. Good night, Luna Muna, said Mommy. Dream big, said Daddy. I closed my eyes and tried to sleep. A bright light from my nightstand woke me up. I peeked out from under my eye mask. Hey, who turned the lights on, I asked. But it wasn't a lamp. It was my space helmet. I put it on. Something felt funny. I was floating. Then I remembered everyone was still sleeping. Holy moly, I whispered. <laughs> I floated carefully up to the ceiling, then down to the floor, then up again. I was getting the hang of this astronaut business. I was a natural. I did a push-up with one hand, then one finger. I pirouetted past my posters and cannonballed through the air. I tried to twirl with Rover, but he wouldn't cooperate. I decided to go exploring. I did somersaults down the stairs. I flew like Supergirl into the kitchen. My little sister Stella peeked in. You're flying like a bird, she shouted. Let me play. I'm floating like an astronaut, I corrected her. Go back to bed, I whispered. I floated up to the highest shelf and grabbed the cereal mommy saves for special occasions. <laughs> this was the most special occasion ever. Then I quickly realized cereal might not be the best face snack. It floated in every direction. <laughs> you made a gigantic mess, said Stella. I'm telling mommy. Just then an idea hit me. It was my best one ever. Follow me, I told Stella. I had a plan, but I was going to need to jump high, really, really high. I dashed to the backyard. Count me down, Stella, I call from the trampoline. Three, two, one, blast off, she yelled back. I bounced harder than I ever bounced before. I floated up past the trees, up past the house, up past the clouds, up, up, up. Then I was there, Luna Muna, the first little girl on the moon. I bounced across craters. I twirled past a moon buggy. I followed old footprints and made some new ones. It was space-tastic. I could stay here forever, and I had it all to myself. Luna Muna, queen of the moon. Then I saw the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Planet Earth was sparkling with bright blue oceans, deep green forests, and ribbons of white clouds. I tried to spot Mommy and Daddy and Stella, but they were too small to see. And in fact, I couldn't see anybody. It was just me, Queen Luna Muna, the only little girl on the moon. I started to feel a little bit lonely. I missed Mommy and Daddy. I even missed Stella. It was time to go home. I floated down, 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 past the space station, down past the spacecraft and the airplane, down past the clouds and the trees to the house, all the way down to my cozy bed. Turn off that lamp, Stella said. That's not a lamp, I told her. We both giggled. Space is great. And I'm still going to be an astronaut one day, but there's no place like home. Maybe next time I'll let Stella come and we can explore space together. What a wonderful book. Luna Muna. <laughs>